Good morning to you. This morning, I'm wanting to go over um, the INF um, October November 2018 exam, and I want to try and uh, work through the solution to question four of this exam. Okay. So before I start, I thought it's best that we introduce to you crow's foot and crow's foot symbols and their meaning. So as you can see here, um, this is this I like this layout the way it's done. So it's got a symbol, and then um, it's saying the meaning is one, but the number means nothing. Okay, and the same here. This uh, means many. Um, the number means nothing. Okay, so when it's saying mandatory one, exactly one. It's got these double um, stripes like that. And when it's saying optional 1, which means 0 or 1, then we'll have a circle and a stripe like that. And then a mandatory many or 1 or more will have a stripe and then the um, many si um, symbol over here. Okay. And then an optional many, which is 0 or more, will have the circle and then the more sign. Alright, so this is just another representation of the exact same thing, um, but that covers the basics of Crowfoot. Um, so today I'm going to try and do an ERD diagram, an ER diagram, entity relationship diagram, and uh, since my studying, I've discovered that they've enhanced it, and we've now got something called an enhanced ER entity relationship diagram and so this enhanced entity relationship diagram uh, it seems to have an a disjoint option over here and then a partial or complete constraint um, with this line so you'll see my one uh, on one of them has got a single stripe and then there's a double stripe on it um, and so I just wanted to introduce you to to crow's foot and the entity relationship diagram and then the, this enhanced entity relationship diagram. So as you can see here, it's also showing you inherited relationship, which is has. Okay. Um, and then this is a super type table and these are subtypes over here at the bottom. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that up. Then, yeah, uh, that's all that I wanted to show you on this slide for now. End slide, so, okay. So the first uh, thing I want to do is just take you to a website. This website is um, gleek.io. I'm not sure if it's uh, taken or uh, taken from draw io but that was the old erd program we used to use so there's two online tools that you can use um, i found this gleek one was quite interesting to work with so if you go to gleek.io and you click on create new you'll see here it gives you options um, that you can choose what type of diagram you're wanting and so I've changed mine to an entity relationship diagram. All right. Um, the other one, uh, the other site is called draw.io. Uh, this is the one that I used to use um, quite a few years ago. You can also just go to create new diagram and then start creating a simple ERD um, diagram. Okay. And what I like about this is it actually gives you an option to create different file formats. So even if I wanted to, I could create an SVG, which is quite nice. So I could just click on Create over here, and it'll ask me where I want to save my files, and I can save them. And um, yeah, but I'm not going to use this one at the moment. So I'm using this one. All right. And what's nice is, as you can see here, um, this represents what a column would be 
um, or a table in the database okay and then this would be what the type is and the um, and the actual the type and the and the name of the column okay so in my example that I want to cover this is the the question here for question four it says the fly right Aircraft Maintenance, FRAM, Division of the Flyright Company, FRC, performs all maintenance for FRC's aircraft produce. Producer Crow's Foot ERD segment that reflects the following business rules. All mechanics are FRC employees. Not all employees are mechanics. Some mechanics are specialized in engine, EN maintenance. Some mechanics are specialized in airframe, AF maintenance. Some mechanics are specialized in avionics, AV maintenance. Avionics are the electronic components of an aircraft that are used in con communication and navigation. All mechanics take periodic refresher courses to stay current in their areas of expertise. FRC tracks all course taken by each mechanic. They, they record the date, the course type, the certification, whether it's yes or no, and performance. FRC keeps a history of employment of all mechanics. The history includes the date hired, date promoted, date terminated, and so on. Note that the and so on component is, of course, not a real world requirement. Instead, it is has been used here to limit the number of attributes you will show in your design. Okay, so they've given you they've given you two examples of where you need to create tables with um, with entities and attributes, and so um, these two tables you've got to decide what you want to name those tables. All right. If we're basing our tables on the first question I just want to see if I minimize this and just put it I want to put it to the right right of my screen here like this so that I've got this here and then I'm going to minimize this as well um, so that I've got this here okay so it first says all mechanics are FRC employees, not all employees are mechanics. Okay, so the first table that I'm going to need to create would be a employee table. In my employee table, I'm gonna so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna paste. I've got an employee table. And I've got a primary key of employee ID and a string of employee type. Okay, I've, I've just called it a string, but you could have left this blank. Um, but that you'll see at the end. At the end, I'll show you what the final diagram should look like. I'm just using this program and I'm showing you how I can design this. All right. So here's an employee table and it's got a primary key with employee ID and a string data type of string employee type all right so that covers um, the the first part that i've got um, frc employees okay the next one is i'm going to create a mechanics table okay um, and that is so that you know there's mechanics working um, all right so here i've got a mechanics table and my primary key is the employee ID and the foreign key, the first foreign key is also an employee ID. So you could merge these two on one line, but this program doesn't support that. So I've just left it there. And then I've got a string of mechanic type. Okay. And so that covers the all mechanics are FRC employees, not all employees are mechanics for now. Um, this part of it is um, part of the enhanced um, enhanced 
uh, entity relationship diagram and so this program that I'm using doesn't support that okay so I'm just wanting to show you how I would design it if I was doing it on the in the actual exam paper so as you can read here it also says some mechanics are specialized in engine EN maintenance some mechanics are specialized in airframe AF maintenance and some mechanics are specialized in avionics AV maintenance so the next thing I would do would be create um, the, those tables okay and so here I've got them so I've got an EN one, an AF one, and an AV. Uh, yeah, you see how it merges it all. It uh, doesn't allow me to to drag just the one down. Okay, so the, we're just going to have to work with the dimensions of this. Okay, and then it says here that um, all mechanics take periodic refresher courses to stay current in their areas of expertise okay so if we think about it what would we like to what would we like to create I think the first thing we should create is a table called training okay um, and so I'll add that on here so now I've got a training table and in my training table you can see um, my training table has a primary key um, let's see if we can minimize this part it's got a primary key and I've created it as training ID and a string of training description okay and you can see for the EN AF and AV I've also I've got a primary key of employee ID and a foreign key number one for, of employee ID and the same for they're just the same all three of them okay and then I've got a training so now on the training one um, the question says there that all mechanics take periodic refresher courses to stay current in their areas of expertise FRC tracks all courses taken by each mechanic and they include the date course type certification and performance so the next thing that I would do is create a table and I'm just um, briefly renaming the table to um, Mechanic Training, TRN for short, okay? So I've got my Mechanic table here. And this has got a primary key of TRN ID, which I'll get from here. And then a foreign key of TRN ID. So as I can, as I say, you can normally merge these two together so that you not haven't got them on um, separate lines. Then uh, we've also got a primary key of the employee ID and a foreign key of the employee ID. Okay. And then I've added my own declarations here of what I believe um, would be used in the database. And you can see it's got the transaction date, the transaction type, the transaction cert, and the trans performance. And because they said yes or no, I left this as a char because you can have a, a Y or an N um, on it. And so all I've done is I've taken the date and I've put their um, TRN date or um, training date and then the um, course type I've put in TRN type okay and the certification is TRN cert and then the performance is TRN perf okay and so now um, the the next the next part of it says FRC keeps history of uh, of the employment of all mechanics and the history includes the date hired um, date promoted date terminated and so on okay and so for that one I created a table called job hist okay and um, let me just get that in there so I'm going to maximize this because now it's getting a bit out of hand okay so I've got my my job hist table which I've created and then I've got a primary key called job hist ID, a foreign key called employee ID, so that will link to my employees, 
and then I've, I've, I've decided what um, data type these are as you can see I've got a company name date hired date promoted date terminated and last position and so those are what is basically covered um, so that covers all my tables okay um, history yeah and so on okay date terminated promoted hired etc okay so now I need to create an entity between all of them and so because this um, program only supports um, entity uh, relationships um, I can only do the relationship portions of it and then I'll show you what it what the final result should be so what I've created here is I've created a, a one to to many relationship between mechanics and mechanic training because you can have um, mechanics going on multiple courses but you can't have multiple courses signed to multiple um, yeah you can't have it the other way around where the 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 multiple courses are linked to multiple mechanics yeah yeah so this is why it has to be a one to many because the mechanics can write many courses all right and um, the next the next um, link that I'll add is the training one um, and that training one you can see there I've got uh, one training ID and the description linked to the many courses or the the training options that are available okay um, yeah all right so it has and you can see I've, I've included the has on, on each uh, each option and then the final one is I'm gonna link the employee and the job history so that 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 shows its relationship and here it also you you've got one employee and there could be quite a bit of history on that one employee um, and so you want to know a lot more information about them and yeah you can only f you, you can't you can't have too much job history for many employees um, when that when the employee is just assigned a unique ID so, so it's like one ID is assigned to one employee okay so that's why you've got the one to one ratio and the one to the zero to many over here okay so this is all I could do in this program um, yeah this is all I can do in this program and so now I'll show you what the final result should look like this is what um, it will look like and this is where I was telling you that you would need to um, you have to you have to use the um, what was the terminology again disjoint this is the disjoint over here so this D shows a disjoint and over here it's saying it's a, a partial or a um, what was the other word um, partial or complete constraint okay and um, because this is a because this class um, or the table Yeah, this this table is the su super the super one, and these ones are the children, the child ones of that. Because you remember, you saw the um, in the article it said that there can be many mechanics, um, and they're all employees of um, FRC. So that's what why it's it's falling down here that it, it can't go back up. All right. So I hope that this was helpful and it explains um, ERD diagrams and uh, crow's foot. Thank you for watching and all the best with your exam. Thanks and goodbye.